multiple stakes and Bazo ran well in that very same race. So all the forms intertwined, I'm um, two, three, five, six. Let's have a look at the tab fix where Miraval Rose is the favourite, $1.70 into a dollar sixty back to one sixty five right to party. The value play for Gator six fifty out to seven dollars. Flying Fizz went up at eight fifty, late ten dollars back into nine. Bezo is a drifter, six dollars out to nine dollars. Lively ten dollars into the eight range back out to nine fifty completes them in single figures. Little late Rally for Miss Rubini off a drift late at $16 into $12. And we're only seconds away. Quick look over the bookmakers. Miraval Rose as the favourite. $1.65 to one seventy five back into one sixty five. Just a quick read on Miss Rubini, number seven. Gator, 12 out to 16, back into 12. It's been specced everywhere. Yeah, well, her debut was good behind a key rival here in Bezo. Um, and Bezo just ran well in that desirable stakes. And I thought her maiden win at Mornington had a lot of merit. She was wide, so she's got a nice future. Twilight Glow won last year by Vienna Princess beating Nikoni and Kiliako. Lady of Honour won it in 2021. Let's get trackside. Three-year-old Phillies listed race, 1,400 with Matt. Now going into the gates, Miss Room Beanie. Little nibble, 16 to 11. On a musha now coming forward, and Bezo will be the last. Red lights continue to flash on a musha. Philly by Brave Smash. About to walk forward and Bezo. Just wanting to pull back there, right to parties. Uh, gone off in the stalls there and has thrown the jockey out. Bowie Mertens, no damage was done. He virtually landed on his feet. The barrier attendant as well went uh, flying momentarily and landed on his feet. But it happened all of a sudden, and right to party has reared quite violently. But uh, as far as uh, attendant and jockey is concerned, both are OK, but no doubt will have to be vetted now. So right to party will be uh, backed out and vetted, I suggest. And uh, Simon Petch on scales just confirming that to us, that uh, right to party is uh, going to be vetted. So they just got to try and release her. She's in a little bit of a mood, but uh, they've been able to do that now. So right to party is going to be vetted here. Right to party to be vetted. Lively drawn next door. Jockey momentarily out of the saddle. Linda Meach. In the meantime, Bezo is being brought forward. She goes in. So now the vet running the rule across right to party. A couple of these fillies just a little bit... Uh, anxious this afternoon. Miraval Rose, whilst all of this is happening, a $1.60 toad favourite. As right to party is trotted around in front of the vet. And uh, Bo Mertens, who's uh, having a terrific run at the moment, has jumped back aboard, so uh, obviously pass fit to start. No uh, problems with right to party being brought forward again. And now the field is set to go. The Twilight Glow, right. yep. set now and away and Flying Fizz from barrier number one broke away well with Miraval Rose who lands in front. Miss Rubini to second and right to party zooming forward. Then came Onamusha in fifth position, lively second last and Bezo back to the end. Miraval Rose, the odds on favourite, leads the Twilight Glow at the 1,000 metres from right to party, a half length off her. A length and a half Flying Fizz third, the rails from Miss Rubini. Two further back to the bolter on a musher, a couple of lengths to lively outside of Bezo at the tail. Miraval rose to the side of the course at the 800 metres from right to party, a half length. Two lengths flying fizz third, the inside of Miss Rumbini. A length and three quarters on a musher, and then came Bezo, who's now a length in front of Lively, last of the seven fillies. So Miraval rose, 600 metres to go, is the front runner from right to party, who just kept her working. About a length and a quarter flying fizz, Miss Rumbini, as they quicken before the corner. Then on a musher, next along the inside, Bezo and Lively still last. Miraval Rose under a hold, comes around the turn at the 300 metres and led by two lengths. Jockey hasn't broken sweat yet from Flying Fizz off her back, then right to party and Miss Rumbini. Miraval Rose, 150 metres to go. Shook up, still over two lengths in front of Flying Fizz, right to party. And Miraval Rose is going strongly. And Miraval Rose is going to win it well. Miraval Rose, two and three quarters, Flying Fizz, right to party, photo four. Bezo or Miss Rumbini, a gap lively, and Honor Musha was last. Much too good, Miraval Rose winning under Jordan Childs and paying $1.60 across all three of the totes. A three year old filly by Grunt showing very good talent, Gator.
Yeah, she is that. That was dominant. I love the strength on and through the line. Ran the 1400 out and uh, big future ahead, I think. So Miraval Rose, an easy winner. Maybe five just ahead of the two for second. And